Stowe, also known as 40 Caliber 101 on this channel. Uh, professional shooter for uh, Carver Custom as well as a uh, new professional shooter for Black Scorpion gear. And if you didn't notice by the course title of this video, uh, I've got a new review for y'all. I'd like to thank Black Scorpion gear for uh, being able to send this out to me and I appreciate them for uh, letting me be on their team as a part of the Black Scorpion gear family. Um, if you notice, I got a new rig set up on, I got a new race set up. Uh, this is actually my race setup from Black Scorpion Gear. Uh, it is their new Grandmaster race holster. Uh, they do have a couple of lines of holsters and everything like that, as well as belt setup. And that's what we're going to go over today. Uh, the different setup, uh, of course, the different adjustabilities for the holster, as well as the ma uh, mag pouches and the belt. But as you see right now, I do have my gun on me. Of course, my pistol is unloaded and everything like that. And as y'all know, I do shoot an open lock for Carver Customs. This particular holster uh, is for a Glock uh, 17, and of course they make for all varieties of Glocks. They do make multiple holsters as well for multiple different types of pistols such as STIs, DVCs, and so on and so forth. And we'll get of course into that a little bit later on. Um, I am going to take off my holster with my, uh, my pistol real quick. We're going to look at it, point it direction fire. I'm going to lay my pistol down. Take off my mag pouch. We're gonna take uh, the whole assembly off real quick and just get a better look at it. So what you see here, of course, is my new Grandmaster holster, a speed holster from Black Scorpion Gear. The holster is a polymer holster with a uh, aluminum body as well as a polymer back plate. Uh, the holster is adjustable, of course, and can't. You can adjust the. Um, the angle as well as the in and out of the uh, the holster just by simply loosening a few few allen heads of course the holster is a like i said it is a polymer holster it does have a trigger mechanism back here for safety um and the vehicle of course the weapon doesn't it doesn't move whatsoever like it will not fall out when that uh when the weapon is in fact loaded into the holster so we're going to load it into the holster it is very easy to, of course, to draw and return into the holster itself. Once that, system, uh, that safety is on, that weapon is not coming out. And that's the good thing about Black Scorpion Gear. They did not, uh, they did not take any turns whatsoever and shortcuts with safety as well as versatility for this particular holster. Now, this, of course, this holster does come in two different types. Since I am running a Glock holster. Uh, it will not have the magnet insert now. If you're going to, of course, run an STI as well as a DVC or some type of metal frame holster or a pistol from, uh, and you want to run it with Black Scorpion Gear's uh, Grandmaster holster, uh, they do have now the new magnet insert that will come embedded into the holster as well uh, to keep the pistol from being able to lift up and move around. So you will get a cleaner, crisper draw, a much smoother draw, and it's going to be a lot easier to reload the weapon as well. Let's go ahead and talk about, of course, the uh, adjustability of the holster as well as, of course, to deal with the can as well as the in and out from the body. Now, whenever you put the, uh, the pistol, uh, the holster on, of course, you do need to take the whole body off. Of course, take the whole body off. There's a Allen head fastener right here that you do need to adjust a little, uh, take out all the way and make sure you remove it just so it gives it enough enough uh, space and not enough tension so you can be able to maneuver the holster to wherever you want it and of course then you lay it back down. Uh, this particular holster you can take this off and put it back on every single time so in case you are wanting to travel all you have to do is take off this screw. Uh, you can't put the screw back in if you want to the fastener back in but you can take this holster and put it into a separate bag like if you're say you're traveling or something like that and you want to have this in your carry-on instead of in your uh, your uh, your luggage down below you can take this off and just like say double alpha has where they have the uh, the hanger insert um, that's exactly what this is so as soon as you take it off you keep it you carry on without having to readjust it you bring it straight back on and you can uh, attach it back to the hanger 
the hanger plate so you do not have to mess with the adjustability and it's the same exact versatility and uh, way that you had it before you left. So that's one good thing I do like about this holster. I love that about this holster. So I can travel, say I am flying on a plane or somewhere and I can't have my holster separate with my own person so I know nothing's going to be messed up with it. Now of course to adjust the kit and everything you do have two loosening fasteners here. They are both Allen heads as well. All you have to do is just adjust those and you can adjust this holster in any way, shape, or form, any fashion, uh, up, down, left, right, uh, you can move it around. Um, I do keep mine on the side of, on kind of a cant, uh, that's just how I draw my, uh, my pistol and I'm going to usually get it that way. Now of course, talking about going in and out, this here is a threaded bolt all the way through, of course with a swivel on the back, and that's how this course does tighten down, it does compress onto that uh, the swivel ball and it keeps it intact. Um, so you're not having uh, screws going into the ball, just trying to lock it down. You don't have to worry about, of course, that coming loose. Um, this here is, of course, a threaded bolt, and it is flattened on the inside. I'll get a little bit closer and let you see that. It is flattened right there. And what that flat is for, so you can actually take this holster and you can adjust it in and out of your body to get it however what space you want. And the way you do that is there is a threaded bolt it's a little Allen head that goes right in here. You just put an uh, Allen key in there, you loosen it up, and you'll be able to adjust the holster inside and out. Uh, of course, with this particular holster, like I said, it does have it is a ball sh like swivel uh, activation for the safety. So whenever you put the pistol in, it does push down this, uh, onto the locking mechanism inside the holster, and whenever it is fully seated, it will click. Once you activate the safety the pistol is not coming out whatsoever. All right. Next thing we're going to get to, of course, is the belt. Now, as you all know, I really do like a durable belt. Okay, That is one thing I live for, is to have a very durable belt. With all my gear on here, uh, this belt right now is very durable. Of course, these double, these uh, Black Scorpion gear uh, belts do come in multiple colors, as well as the mag pouches. Like I said, we'll get to that as well. Uh, but they're very durable, very stiff. Now, it does come in two different parts. It does come with this outer belt as well as the inner belt that I do have on right now. Uh, the Velcro is very uh, abrasive, so it does stick very well, and you don't have to worry about for your belt to come off. Uh, of course, with my other race uh, whole, uh, race belts and everything like that, I do have that sometimes that problem uh, with it coming undone, but I have not had that problem yet with this. Uh, you also get a belt keeper, of course, with the Black Scorpion Gear logo on it. Uh, that will come with the... Uh, set up as well when you buy this belt. We'll go ahead and go to the mag pouches. These mag pouches, of course, I did buy five mag pouches. Or I did not buy, should I say, Black Scorpion Gear sent me five black mag pouches. And once again, I like to thank those guys over there. They're awesome. Now right now, I do have these set up for my particular uh, magazines. These are set for double stack. And for all you single stack guys out there, these holsters, or these mag pouches do come with uh, insert plates so you can adjust for a single stack and we'll do that in another video as well and I'll show you how to be able to put that together for a single stack. Um, like I said these do come in different colors and what different colors I mean these little base plates here these are be able you can take them off and you can adjust them to whatever color that you want uh, so you can do of course a color coordinated uh, with your belt say so you want to get a red belt and you want to have red faces you can do that. Uh, the adjustability that is amazing as well uh, all you have to do is, there's a hole right here in the middle of the mag pouch in the face, in the base plate, uh, face. So you stick an Allen key through it, you will adjust the, uh, there is a, um, a fastener on the inside, you will loosen that up. And you can adjust this any which way that you want. Uh, and not only can you adjust it, uh, you know, clockwise, counterclockwise, tilt it up, tilt it down, but you can maneuver this on an up and lower axis. So this magazine pouch is actually very uh, durable for the person. So if I wanted to, I can have this magazine as low as I want, or I can have it up high if I want, depending on what your body style and how you shoot. And that's one good thing, like I said, about these uh, Black Scorpion Gear race pouches, as well as the holsters. They're very uh, shooter friendly, so you can adjust them to the way that you shoot. So you can adjust your stuff around your settings. Um, the way that you put them on, of course, there are four uh, fasteners that go around the base plate. If you loosen up, I found it easy if you just loosen up the mag pouch well and you just 
maneuver the mag pouch around. You can actually stick an Allen key down there and you can loosen them up because it is kind of hard to put them on without loosening them up, of course. They are meant to tighten them down. All you need to do is turn them two or three turns. It loosens up the whole body and you can slide them on and maneuver them any which way you want. And of course, you can, like I said, that's when you can really fine tune the, uh, the holster. Uh, on the back here, of course, it does have another logo for Black Scorpion gear. So there is another logo for that. And uh, this right here is an extra large belt. I do go with a little bit bigger belt. And of course, with picking belt size, we'll go on another video as that. But it, just a little, you know, real quick tutorial. If you want to get a good, a good belt uh, and fit your size, make sure that you go with whatever belt size that you are, or your pant size. Go at least another size up, and that right there should be your belt size for your resources. So that's pretty much the whole, uh, the whole holster setup. And once again, like I said, with the Velcro and everything, I'll go ahead and put this holster on, or this, uh, this belt on with the holster and everything, and I'll show you how abrasive it is. And of course, I'll put my belt keeper on. And the whole setup is very tight. So it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to slide around. Once it's on, it is on. Like I said, well, even with my full gear set up, we'll put everything on real quick and we'll, uh, we'll get it all set up for you. And let you see what, like I said, once again, what it looks like on my person. So this is the full setup on my person of what it looks like. Once, you know, and like I said, it is very easy to be able to get a draw out on this holster. So if I'm just sitting here, you know, I'm at, I'm getting ready for a stage, it's nothing at all to be able to, to get it, you know, get the, the pistol out and get it back in. I can do it every time without even looking. I can just draw back in. As easy as that. It is, it is very simple, it's very smooth drawing. Uh, as well as uh, putting the pistol back into the holster. Once again, smooth. Every single time. It's a very smooth setup. And like I said, once you've got it in the, uh, the safety on, doesn't matter how much you pull, that pistol is not coming out. So it's perfect even like I said for even even for three gun it's, I know a lot of guys are shooting three gun of course you got to run with a pistol on your belt and everything like that and uh, in case you do end up bump some you know, of course that pistol is not coming off so this this is a great setup I definitely recommend black scorpion gear also for another thing you know um, if you're wanting of course to get a setup like mine or even buy anything else because they only just do competition stuff they do concealment through Kydex, of course they make range bags and everything. If you look in the description below, there will be a discount code. So make sure you use that discount code, it will get you save you 10% on all your purchase orders. Alright, but I'd like to thank y'all for all for the views and everything like that. Please subscribe, share the channel. Make sure you go to Black Scorpion Gear's website. Uh, check them out. You know, contact Bobby Carver as well for all your gun needs. I'd like to thank all my sponsors and everything like that. Uh, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe, alright? Once again, I'd like to thank you. Reviewing this video, this is William Stowe, professional shooter, also known as 40 Caliber 101. I'd like to thank you for everything that y'all have done, helping me grow my channel, and stay safe out there, alright? This is 40 Caliber 101, signing off.